Hi guys, you're gonna like this one. I have a few uh, new lookup tables that will make your GH5 feel like a new camera. I'll show you how you can do fast color correction and color grading with these lookup tables. And then I'll show you how can you co uh, correct white balance in post almost as well as you can with raw photos or raw video. And then I'll even show you how these lookup tables can give you a cleaner V-log uh, footage when you're shooting in 8 bits, for example, when you're shooting slow motion. Even if you haven't bought the V-log upgrade, you can still get V-log and you can still get a better V-log for 8 bits. And by the way, these lookup tables seem to work with other Lumix cameras as well, just that you know. So these lookup tables that I'm going to show off next are from the color correction kit uh, for the GH5 and other Lumix cameras. I just launched a new version, 3.0, 3.0 from this kit, and I just want to show off these LUTs for you. I'll be working in Premiere Pro, but these lookup tables work with other uh, major editing softwares as well, Resolve, Final Cut, Avid. Uh, in the end of this video, I have a link to a free mini course on color correction and color grading. And on that course, you will see how to use these lookup tables in other softwares as well. Uh, that course is free, uh, it's, uh, but it's still part of the color correction kit. So on that course, I will show you how to use the color correction kit, but it's totally independent and that is for free. So in the end of this video, you can join that course there. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's jump right into Premiere and let's color correct a few clips. These were shot in V-Log and with only natural light, so no artificial light. And then let's color correct one clip that is shot in the standard profile so that you see that these lookup tables can be used with other profiles as well. Okay, so let's start. So here we go. Uh, we got the Lumetri panel and we simply apply one lookup table from the color correction kit, for example, one, uh, one S, high 1S and it looks already quite good, but we can go to these sliders and now just uh, to start tweaking them around. And well, these work now rather similar as uh, they do in uh, Lightroom or in Camera Raw. And then we'll go to the curves and let's just give it a bit of a milky shadow look. And then let's bring the highlights just a bit up, something like that. Yeah, looks good. So next, let's go to this one. And let's do the same drill over over again. So we go to this and choose one lookup table. And this time let's choose the film two lookup table. And here let's give it a let's make it a bit cooler and let's give it a bit a green. And yeah, so basically just with this uh, you can tweak the settings uh, the way you want, something like that, and done. And then next uh, this third one, uh, let's not do the same thing all over again. Let's just apply a lookup table, uh, that, that, that the settings that I already did before. And now let's compare these lookup tables to other very common lookup tables that are used to color correct V-Log. And I have three of them here. This, uh, this one is the Varicam, official Varicam lookup table for uh, V-Log. And it's quite okay, but you can see there's a weird magenta, uh, green, uh, magenta cast on skin tones. Other than that, it's quite okay. This one is the Leeming 1 LUT, which is actually rather accurate for uh, GH5, because this is designed for uh, GH5 speci uh, especially. Uh, but I personally don't like how it gives this uh, skin tones this kind of a dirty look. There's a bit of like, kind of a greenish cast on the skin tones, on the shadows. But other than that, it's really good. And then this one is the Resolves official uh, like off resolves a color management lookup table that like kind of like the input lookup table when you use uh, when you use resolve with vlog footage and when you compare this to the high one there's a lot of similarities though this is a bit lighter and less saturation but uh, i personally like the high one a bit better because you get uh, you get uh, like better colors and better contrast out of the gate 
Okay, and then let's do something. Let me show you. Let's match this. This is standard and this is vlog and let's match these together. So using the comparison view in Premiere Pro and let's let, let's let them the footage load. Let's match these together. And to start off uh, in the color correction kit, we have a bunch of, so let's look into the color correction kit. So here, this is the color correction kits and its folders. So in the first folder, we have uh, different lookup tables for turning other profiles into vlog. So let's do that. So let's turn this into vlog. And now they're both in vlog. And then let's apply a lookup table. In this case, the high one, this, and let's apply here again, the high one as well. So let's turn it on. So now, and now the colors are quite well matched. And uh, yeah, so, and this means that if you're using standard profile and you turn it into vlog, you can use other lookup tables. For example, in this case, we have turned standard into vlog and then we have used uh, the leaving, a, a la, leaving one lot uh, for color correcting because the uh, lookup tables to turn other profiles to vlog are so accurate that you can use other lookup tables from uh, totally other creators uh, that are meant for vlog. So now your footage works rather similar, almost identical to actual vlog. So you don't need to get the vlog upgrade if you don't want to. You can just get this kit and you have vlog for much less, uh, much lower price. Okay, next let's do some white balance correction in post. As you might already know, if you shoot raw photos or raw video, you have the possibility to uh, kind of choose the settings that the color is uh, developed in uh, in post. For example, here we have two shots. This was shot in uh, the correct white balance and this was shot with a tungsten white balance. So way off, the white balance was way off. But because these are raw photos, I can simply go to the uh, white balance and choose this gray patch here and then uh, make sure that these color numbers are the same. So this is 10, like this. <clears throat> and now if I toggle between these two shots, you can see that the colors are identical. There's no difference in colors. We're basically working with the same data in both of these shots, even though this was, uh, the white balance was set off in the camera, but it's really easy to just uh, fix it in post. So let's see if we can do the same thing when we're working with uh, video footage. And here we have two clips. This was on the right is this stack of uh, different layers of footage, the same clip on top of itself. And this is uh, the left one. So this was shot in the tungsten pro, uh, white balance and this was shot with the correct uh, cloudy white balance. So let's see if we can fix this to look like this. The first attempt is to use the sliders in the Lumetri panel, so these sliders, and this is the closest I was able to get with these sliders. And you can see it's not, it's not good. Then the next thing that I did, uh, in this case, I used the sliders again, but this time I uh, turned the standard into vlog first with the color correction kit. And then with these sliders, I was able to get much better match uh, from, the, from the tungsten to cloudy white balance. But still, the shadows have a bit of a weird cast and the highlights have a different color. <clears throat> so then the third option for color uh, fixing a white balance in post is to use uh, lookup tables that are inside the color correction kit for fixing white balance. So here on the second folder on the color correction kit, we have six lookup tables for uh, changing your vlog footage. So uh, minus exposure, plus exposure, tint green, Tint Magenta, White Balance Cold and White Balance Warm. And in this case, let me show you, uh, let's turn all of this off. So this is how we started. So this is standard. And first I use a lookup table from the color correction kit to turn the standard into vlog. Then I fix the temperature and then I fix the ca uh, color cast by using these lookup tables uh, from the color correction kit. And then I uh, change it to, um, <coughs> to Rec 709. And now you can see it's much better ca uh, match between these two shots. There's no weird uh, cast in the shadows and the highlights are pretty much the same. Though I, I have to admit that I used the curves just to match these colors a bit and I made, it, they made them with the white slider, I made this bit darker. 
But now they are not a perfect match as with the raw photos, but much better, I would say that this is usable. And it's uh, quite, not, uh, quite a big change when you compare it to the original tungsten uh, white balance colors. So these clothes you can go, uh, get with the color correction kit with the uh, graying. But I would say that in most cases, this method of turning your footage uh, from standard, from other profiles into V-log, and then applying uh, using these uh, sliders will work in most cases, because this was a rather extreme case of white balance fixing. So in, mo in many cases, just using the sliders and uh, the kit will give you good enough result. And then let me show you how you can get better V-Log when you're shooting 8 bits with the GH5. So here we have again on the right, we have uh, another these clips on the right and on the left we have these clips. And uh, let me show you, these clips, uh, this clip is shot in V-Log and this one is shot in Cine D. And if we look into this, so let's turn this into Rec 709, so making it look normal with the color correction kit. And then let's color correct this uh, Cine D as well by first turning it into V-Log and then using the high 1S lookup table from the color correction kit to turn it into normal colors. And uh, by the way, I must say that uh, in Premiere, there seems to be some kind of issue with V-Log and 8-bit, because if I shoot this uh, clip in uh, V-Log and 8-bit, it gives a weird magenta cast to the footage. So uh, when I shoot 10-bit, you don't have that cast, but if I shoot 8-bit, you have that cast. But even than even then that, there's one issue more. Here, let's zoom into the hand, and here you can see on the V-Log, you can see this ugly macro blocking, this color noise. There's this uh, magenta and green areas in the hand, which you don't see here on the uh, Cine, originally Cine D footage. So this is a simple way of getting better V-Log footage. So let's look into this. So this is Cine D, and we first, let's start from scratch. So first we go here in the basic correction tab, we apply a Cine D to V-Log uh, correction, and then we go to the creative tab and apply um, one of these lookup tables to turn uh, the V-Log into Rec 709, so making it look normal. And now uh, we have the possibility to use these sliders for rather accurate uh, uh, white balance, and then we can use these sliders as we can uh, in Lightroom and we get really nice colors really easily. Okay, so these lookup tables are part of the color correction kit for the GH5, uh, the version 3.0. Uh, if you have the version 2.0, uh, you, you should check your email because I have sent you the uh, new kit already. If you haven't got that, just send me an email, I will resend the kit to you again. But anyway, so these are part of the uh, version 3.0. I'm already working a couple of updates for the color correction kit. For example, I know that many of you shoot in the natural profile with the J5, so I'll be creating lookup tables to turn natural profile into V-Log so that you can color correct your white balance more accurately. And then uh, I will be creating these lookup tables for matching drone footage from Mavic Pro and Mavic Air and maybe that Mavic 2 uh, into GH5. So if you're shooting with the Mavic and the GH5, soon you will be easily matching those. I'll make a video about that uh, in the near future. And the same thing I will be doing with Sony. So if you have Sony and uh, GH5, you can uh, soon easily match them together as well. And uh, then I'll be doing the same thing for uh, any new major camera updates that might be coming in the near future. Not all of them, but the most important ones. And so, when I have these uh, updates uh, rolled out, I will increase the price of the color correction kit. But for now, for a couple of days after uh, this video is launched, I will have the kit on sale. So you get better go and get it now for a lower price or wait a bit longer and then you can pay pay me more extra for and well then you will get the, all the uh, updates straight out of the gate. And um, there's a free course on color correcting and color grading as well as I said in the beginning of the video and that uh, course is a part of the color correction kit but it's totally independent and full of gems like knowledge gems about uh, color correction and color grading so uh, there's a link here somewhere you can go and check that uh, course out and uh, if you want you can get the color correction kit as well. And yeah, that's about it. 
get the kit, join the course, and see you in the next video. Bye.